Hello, good afternoon. <clears throat> Hi, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Give me a moment. I'm going to use my headphone. Let's see here. Hello, hello. Can you listen to me, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I was I was a little I was a little a little worried because there was a message on my computer that said your speaker is not working properly. And I was like, holy, holy moly. Okay. Well, everybody, do you remember that yesterday we were working a little bit with a, with a sports book? Uh, sorry. We we're talking a, um, with a sports vocabulary, all right? We were talking about, um, we began unit number four. Today, we will continue with the same thing, all right? Uh, I need to, I need just to cover this because uh, today I'm going to begin the topic that I have to study and that I have to teach. And it is um, was and where, or, uh, sorry, Ken and Ken, oh my God, was and where is in, uh, in the afternoon. Okay, uh, yes, Jorge, no problem, no problem, Jorge. All right, now here, everybody, um, remember that in English, we have two groups of questions. We have yes, no questions, and we have the second group that are information questions, all right? Very good, information questions, okay? So uh, right now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna see some information questions. Now, let me see if you know the meaning of these words. What's the meaning of how often in Spanish? What's the meaning of that? How often? ¿Qué tan seguido? Mm. ¿Con qué frecuencia? ¿Con qué frecuencia? Very good. That is, yeah, con qué frecuencia. That is the meaning. That is the, that is the meaning, okay? Con qué frecuencia. So, what about where? What about where? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Donde, very good. What about when? Cuando. Cuando, very good. When. All right. What about what time? ¿Qué tiempo? ¿A qué hora? Oh, ¿A, ¿A qué, qué hora? hora? Very good. What time? Okay. What about who? ¿Quién? 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 And what about what? ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Okay. All right. Very good. So here we have some questions and we have to select the correct uh, question word or double H word. So for example here, I go swimming once a week. Ah, how often, okay? What about number two? Do you play basketball? And the answer says, I play twice a week. So what is the question? What is the double H word? How often? Rosa, how often? Well, you have two options. How often and when? So which is the option? When. when. When do you play basketball? I play twice a week. How often? How often? How often? Yes, because how often is frequency. Remember that twice a week is a frequency expression. Once a week is a frequency expression. Okay, what about the next one? Do you do karate? Aha, uh -huh. pay attention to the answer and you have two options. Look at the options. What are the options? Is when, when do you do karate? Uh, when do you, sorry? Uh, can you say karate in English? Ah, <laughs> karate, karate. Repeat, Car it's like you karate. say. Karate, karate, karate. Karate. Yes. Karate. <laughs> it sounds it sounds a little strange. You say, huh? Yes, but do you do karate? Karate, right? Okay. Um. When? Yes. Very good, Jorge. Nice. All right. Uh, what about this one? Pay attention to the answer. Just try to, just try to think about one answer. What time? What time? What time? Yes, there you go. What time? Okay. Let's see. Yes, and we have them in the options. What about the next one? Pay attention. Look at that. Look at that. 
Look at that and try to try to get an answer. Where do you play Where? soccer? Where do you play soccer? Yes, I play soccer in a soccer field in my neighborhood. Okay. Excellent. What about the next one? What about the next one? All right. Pay attention to the next one. What? What do you sport? What sports do you play? What sports do you play? Are you sure? Let's see. Yes, we have the option what. Okay, very good. What about the next one? Pay attention to the next one. She plays with her friend. Who does your sister play tennis with? Wow. Sorry? Where? Mm, but the answer? Who? 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 Yes. Who? Uh -huh. She plays with a friend. Excellent. Excellent. Nice, nice, guys. Well, I'm going to give you a little exercise so you can practice with this. Excellent. These are the information questions in, sim uh, in well, information questions <laughs> we can have. We can have information questions in present, in past, all right? We can have a different kinds of, of, of information questions, okay? So let me see. Well, I, I'm going to I'm going to give you one example. First, with the question, uh, you have to match uh, the question with the answer. Just give me a moment. I'm gonna show you the picture. The picture, the, the, the screen. Okay. This exercise is going to be very easy because uh, here you have the questions, okay? The next exercise is going to be selecting the double H word. But tell me, please, if you can, okay, David. Okay, David, no problem. Tell me if you can open the link, please. Can you open the link? Yes, teacher. Yes, all right, very good, okay? Nice, nice, nice. Okay, well, uh, who has a computer today that can help me? Arely. Me, teacher. Sorry, Arely. Uh, uh, who said me? Me, Yo Jocelyn. Ah, Jocelyn. Thank me? you, Jocelyn. Uh, Roberto. Thank you, Roberto. Uh, okay. Me, uh, teacher. Rosita, Naomi. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your help. I really appreciate it. Okay? Ustedes ya desde ya tienen este... Yes, en participación porque me ayudan todos los días, que es lo más justo. Okay, very good. Now, uh, well, so here I have group number one. I will have Cecilia, Daisy, Brenda, Rosa, and Jennifer. Rosita has a computer. Okay. In group number two, Areli, David, Daniela, Olga, and Aliana Paola. You are in group number two, and Areli has a computer. In room number three, I have Nancy, uh, Flor, Jancy. I don't know if you can participate in this moment. Uh, Jancy Yamilet, can you participate in this moment? Hello? Uh, no, teacher, aún no estoy trabajando. Sorry? Aún no estoy trabajando. Vaya, dígame eso en inglés porque ya estudiamos la estructura. How do you say, I, estoy trabajando? I am working. Excellent. Ya vi que puede. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, nice, Jancy. Okay, okay, Jancy, no okay. problem. No problem. No problem, Jancy. Thank you. Okay, so, eh, lo dividí a otro grupo. All right? Now, uh, in group number, so group number three, no group number three. So group number four, I have Nancy, Esmeralda, Pesi, Jorge, and I will move, uh, I will exchange Jocelyn over there. Okay, so Jocelyn can share the screen. And in group number five, I will have Naomi. Well, in group number five, I have two. So you make a decision if Naomi or Roberto can share, okay? So I'm gonna give you five minutes. This exercise is very easy, okay? Very good, nice. Thank you very much.
Sí, sí. What's your, your, what is your favorite sport? It's volleyball. It is volleyball. Yes. In where do you live? Is I live in Santana. Yes. Excellent. In how old is your sister? She's ten. How are you today? I am doing this. Excellent. Very good. All right. Send me the spark. Okay, easy? Easy. Yes, all right, very good. Excellent. Now, the next exercise, everybody, is one step more. Uh, I mean, how can I say? The difficulty is more. Now, I'm going to show you. Let's see? Well, uh, I want you to, I'm going to send you the link. <clears throat> Sorry. Bye. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I will send you the link, but what I want you to do is this. I want you to change to quiz. It is better. So we're going to change it to quiz. And here you have, are you from? I'm from El Salvador. So which is the correct option? How often? Why? Why is por qué? How long is a eh, like like por cuánto tiempo periodo de tiempo and where? So look at the answer. I'm from El Salvador. So which is the correct word? Where? Where? Letter D. Letter D. Excellent. So that is what you're gonna do. Okay. Take notes. Take notes. All right. Now eh, remember that this is at the beginning. At the beginning. Okay. At the beginning. So uh, I will send the link. Remember that you have to change it to you have to change it to quiz. Le va a parecer de otra manera, but I want you to change it to quiz. Okay. So uh, I will send you this. Okay. Try to try to open the link. Try to open the link and tell me if it is possible for you to open the link. Yeah. Yeah. Jorge. Yes, yes. Ah, yeah. Roberto. Sorry. Okay. Well. 
So let's go, let's go, all right? Everybody can participate. If it is not possible for you to participate speaking, you can, I don't know, like type the letter in the chat box. I don't know, but try to participate as, as much as you can. But for this one, I'm going to give you more time. I want you to analyze, okay? Let's go. Yes. 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 See, yes. Okay. Oh. Uh, home. Ah, is, the, okay. The meaning, the meaning of whom is en quien. En quien. And only who is quien. Ah. Yes. Okay. And the next. Do you feel after the quiz? I feel sad. <laughs> Letter A, B, C, or D? Letter C, how? How? Mm -hmm. Next. Are you doing today? I am having a quiz. How often? What? Why? And which? What? 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 Yes. Is teacher either? He is 24 years old. He is 20, 24 years old. 
Suppose how long, C. how old, and how often. Letter C, no. How old is teacher is? Okay. The next. Is that girl? Is that girl? She is teacher's idiot's girlfriend. Girlfriend. Yeah. How much? Who? Whom? And who? How? Who? Is that girl? Yes, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Where do you drink daily? I try to drink eight glasses of water. Which, how many, when, on how much? A mm, little bit. What's the... How much? I don't know. <laughs> oh, the money almost. Hmm. I don't know what is the difference. Mm -hmm. How much water? Letter D? What do you think? Yes or no? How I think how much, but I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Notebook is this. It's Carolina's. How often, where, how many, and whose? D. Do you study English every day? I study English one hour per day. How many? What? When? And uh, how long? How long? <laughs> how long? Okay. Are you from? I am from El Salvador. How often, why, how long, and where? Well. Where? Where? Okay. Ay, me falta una. It's your birthday. It is on July 28th. Okay, very good. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something. Ahí encontraron algunas nuevas. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Right. <laughs> and you were like, ah, what is what's this? Okay, I'm gonna tell yes. you. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Well, I think that, for example, you found... Well, this one is not new. What's the meaning of this one? Which? Why? Why? Well, all right. Very good. Which? Okay. What about... Well, you know who, which, how? Yeah. How do you feel after the quiz? Exactly. You you, you know, right? And, yeah. and what? Now, uh, what about... Let's see... Letter B, wing. Ah, this one, this one, this one. All right. Pay attention to this one. Whom? Okay, who and who? Now, uh, the, give me a sorry, sorry, David, because the, the, the echo and I listen to a lot of cars passing by. But I'm going to tell you the difference between who and whom. But what's the difference, teacher? I don't understand the meaning of this. Who is quien? And whom is En quién? Oh, oh, yeah. Got okay. it? So, Got it. pay attention to this one. In here, it is who or whom? 
Who? Who? Oh, only who? Yeah. Who is that chica? Who is that girl? All right, very good. Okay, the who's. This one is the quién. A quién pertenece? Por ejemplo, de quién es esto? Who's who's this? All right, very good. So, de quién? This is possession. Okay. Ah, uh, so let me see. Then, ah, pay attention. Do you trust the most? I trust my mother the most. What do you select? Who or whom? Whom. Whom. Uh -huh. Because the translation is en quien confías más. Yeah. Whom do you trust the most? That, that is the difference. All right. So, but that, this is for you to have some idea. Okay. I'm going to give you another exercise. Ahora sí creo que ya vamos on the way. All right. Now, give me a moment. Okay, let's see how many questions words we have right now. This is something easy. This is not difficult, but you need to do what you need to do is to pay attention, right? To pay attention to the words. Just just give me. Um mm -mm -mm. yeah, because this is this is not like something so difficult. It's something very, very easy. Now, I'm going to give you this one. This is another. Pay attention, okay, with your classmates. Este está en el modo quiz. No hay que cambiarlo. <coughs> we don't have to change it, all right? Okay. Open the link, please. Got it? I got it. I got it. Excellent. All right. So let's go. Go.
Little B. Yes, there will be. Okay. There will be. There will be. There will be. What? There will be. What? Letter, letter A. What? Mm, letter D. No, letter A. A. Okay. It's a plural. Mm. Letter D. D? Letter B. B. Letter B. B. Letter B. Letter C. Letter C. What is it? Yes. Yes. Letter. Letter A. Letter A. B. Or B. Where? Well, how? Letter B. 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 Letter A. Letter A. Okay. Excellent. Easy or difficult? Um, kind of. Yeah, but you are very smart. That's nice. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Mm, I'm sorry. I'm eating a cookie. So, so. Yeah. Yeah, you need to pay attention to the answers. That's it. Yes. Okay, let me go and check other groups, all right? Easy or difficult? <laughs> Sorry for, perdón por el puntito blanco en mi nariz. <laughs> Pero ahora me cauterizaron algo y tengo que ponerme antibiótico, así que lo siento. <laughs> All right, very good. Sí, ya me lo había quitado. Se me, se me ve chistoso, pero sí, me, lo que, me, me quemaron algo ahí, entonces tengo que ponerme you know, semi-infecta, okay. Well, everybody, nice, excellent job. Excellent, excellent job, all right? You have to pay attention that when you are asking a question, oh, if you need, if you want, um, hasta, si ustedes quieren como una respuesta, if you want as an answer, 
a place, you're going to ask where or who. Where. Where. Uh -huh. So, for example, where do you live? Ah, uh, my mother. That is not that is not okay, right? No. No. So you, if you say, where do you live? Oh, I live in. That's okay. All right. Very good. Well, uh, that's it. So we're going to continue. That we, we finished with that. That is not something difficult. Uh, you will find this exercise on the platform. Okay. And today we're going to learn vocabulary related to talents and abilities. Okay. Very good. Now, solo quiero que me contesten sí o no. Le voy a hacer una pregunta. Can you sing? Yes. No. No. No? No. No, yes, no. Uh, yes. Is sing. Yes. No. Sing. Or sing. Sing. Okay. Sing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, excellent. Now, can you dance? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Or no? Yeah. Okay. I see. Okay. Can you draw? No. Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Okay. Can you paint? Yes. No. 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 Yes. Okay. Can you act? Yes. No. 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 Yeah. Okay. Can you can you do magic tricks? No. 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 Okay. Can you juggle? No. 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 Can you play the piano? No. 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 Can you cook? Yes. 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 Okay. Can you drive? Yes. Yes. No. All right. Can you whistle? Yes. yes. No. Can you whistle? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, that is whistle. Yeah. All right. Yeah? Yes. I Silva. have a question. Yeah, Silbar. Yeah, Roberto, you have a question. Yes. Is it in Wesley? Whistling is the in ENG? I don't know. Whistle. Whistle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. No, is the. Uh, uh, in I read in the sentence is the whistling. Ah, no, no, no. But remember that in this case, you have the verbs in base form. They are not conjugated. No. It's silbando, you see, in the traducción. No, no, no. Pero, ah, okay. Vaya, mira. El verbo en forma base es whistle. Oh. Esto es silbar, el verbo. Pero oh. también puedo referirme a silbar como una actividad. En ese caso, sí la puedo mencionar en ING. Oh. Whistling, silbar, pero la traduzco silbar, no silbando. Ajá. Es, por ejemplo, oh, okay. cuando tú hablas de... Te lo estoy explicando en español para que lo entiendas bien. Yeah. Um, cuando, cuando nosotros nos preguntan por nuestros, por nuestros hobbies, what are your hobbies? Entonces contestamos, oh, my favorite hobbies are eh, cook. No está bien. Tenemos que decir cooking, porque ahí decimos cocinar, pero nos referimos a la actividad, no al verbo en ING. No sé si me, oh. me explico. Ajá. Yeah. Por eso es que tal vez lo viste tú, whistling, y lo traducen silbar, porque se refieren a la activity. No te oh, hagas. Okay. Ajá. I get Pre it. You've got it. Ajá. It's like, for example, if I want to say, a mí me gusta silbar. I like whistling. I have to say whistle in ING, because I'm talking about the activity. That? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you for All right. information. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. What about sail? Can you sail, navigar? Can you sail? No. No, no. no. no I can't. Can you skateboard? No. 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 I can't. Can you play soccer? Yes. yes. No. No. Yeah? no. No. No, teacher. So can you speak English? Yes. Yeah. yes. Of course, of course, you can speak English. Hay gente que no puede ni decir what's your name. And yeah. in your case, yeah, ustedes pueden decir la rutina diaria. You can say a uh, description about there is and there are, right? So, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Okay. Well, so right now, uh, we're going to watch a video, okay? And we're going to study auxiliary can 
and can't. This is something very easy. Aquí lo difícil tal vez podría ser la pronunciación, pronunciation. But, I mean, the, 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 the structure is very easy, okay? It's not difficult. So you need to pay attention to the pronunciation. Pay attention to the ver to the video, please. Uh, um, and, and then I'm gonna ask you some questions. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna share the, the, uh, the sound. All right, okay. Note, can't is the negative of can. And it's also the contraction for cannot. Can for ability. I can't speak Spanish. This sentence shows us the ability of speaking another language. Now, I can't read Chinese. This person is not able to read this language. These two sentences show us ability, okay? Usually these are things that we learn. For example, how to drive or how to ride a bike. These are things that we are able to do because we learn them sometimes. Now, can and can't for possibility. I can go to the beach this weekend. This means there is the possibility of going. It doesn't mean that I will, okay? It's just that there is a possibility that I can go. Now, I can't take pictures in the museum. This means that there is no way that you take pictures in a museum. So it's not possible to take pictures inside the museum. Now let's talk a little bit about the grammar. When we use modal verbs, in this case, when we use can or can't, it is followed by a verb. But this verb must be written in the simple present. For example, I can speak, I can speak Spanish. It's wrong if you say, I can to speak Spanish. Mm -mm. Or, I can speak in Spanish. No, 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 no. With can or can't, the verb must be written in the simple present or the base form of the verb. Now let's practice pronunciation. Listen to these two sentences I will give you and then I will repeat them again so that you can repeat after me. Are you ready? Let's check these sentences. Sentence number one. I can speak Spanish. Sentence number two. I can't speak Chinese. In these two sentences, can sounds like can. Can. One more time. I can speak Spanish. Can. I can speak Spanish. Repeat after me. I can speak Spanish. Very good, but also in the negative form, can't, it sounds like can. Listen to it one more time. I can't speak Chinese. I can't speak Chinese. Repeat after me, can. I can't speak Chinese. Very good, but they are similar. How am I going to know when it's can, the affirmative way, and can't, the negative way? Let me teach you that. Before I explain, I will say two sentences and I want you to identify which is the negative sentence. Are you ready? Okay, sentence number one, I can speak Spanish. Sentence number two, I can't speak Spanish. Which one do you think is the negative sentence? Number one or number two? I will say them one more time. I can speak Spanish. That's number one. Number two, I can't speak Spanish. Hmm? 
Do you have the right answer? The negative sentence is number two. Now, this is all about English. The stress, the emphasis you make in these words are going to let you know when we use can as affirmative and can't as a negative model verb. So remember, if you are saying a negative sentence with can't, make emphasis in that word. I can't speak Spanish. I can't speak Spanish. There you have it. Okay, very good. Did you pay attention to the emphasis the teacher the teacher um made on the Kent? Did you pay attention to that? Yeah, the, di yes. yeah, the, the yes. difference. Yeah, the difference between because when you are speaking English and if you are talking about things you can't do, que no puede hacer. Eh, imagine, ah, sorry, I I can drive. Can or can't? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to pay attention to that. You have to emphasize the can't, negative one, can't, and can. Pay attention, I'm going to repeat so you can take notes because I have to play the video twice, okay? Let's go. I, sorry. This is only the, the white, the black space. Note, can't is the negative of can. And it's also the contraction for cannot. Can for ability. I can't speak Spanish. This sentence shows us the ability of speaking another language. Now, I can't read Chinese. This person is not able to read this language. These two sentences show us ability, okay? Usually these are things that we learn. For example, how to drive or how to ride a bike. These are things that we are able to do because we learn them sometimes. Now, can and can't for possibility. I can go to the beach this weekend. This means there is the possibility of going. It doesn't mean that I will, okay? It's just that there is a possibility that I can go. Now, I can't take pictures in the museum. This means that there is no way that you take pictures in a museum. So it's not possible to take pictures inside the museum. Now let's talk a little bit about the grammar. When we use model verbs, in this case, when we use can or can't, it is followed by a verb, but this verb must be written in the simple present. For example, I can speak, I can speak Spanish. It's wrong if you say, I can to speak Spanish, mm -mm. or I can speaking Spanish. No, 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 no. With can or can't, the verb must be written in the simple present or the base form of the verb. Now let's practice pronunciation. Listen to these two sentences I will give you and then I will repeat them again so that you can repeat after me. Are you ready? Let's check these sentences. Sentence number one. I can speak Spanish. Sentence number two, I can't speak Chinese. In these two sentences, can sounds like can, can. One more time. I can speak Spanish, can. I can speak Spanish. Repeat after me. 
I can speak Spanish. Very good. But also in the negative form, can't, it sounds like can. Listen to it one more time. I can't speak Chinese. I can't speak Chinese. Repeat after me. Can. I can't speak Chinese. Very good. But they are similar. How am I going to know when it's can, the affirmative way, and can't, the negative way? Let me teach you that. Before I explain, I will say two sentences and I want you to identify which is the negative sentence. Are you ready? Okay, sentence number one, I can speak Spanish. Sentence number two, I can't speak Spanish. Which one do you think is the negative sentence? Number one or number two? I will say them one more time. I can speak Spanish. That's number one. Number two, I can't speak Spanish. Hmm? Do you have the right answer? The negative sentence is number two. Now, this is all about English. The stress, the emphasis you make in these words are going to let you know when we use can as affirmative and can't as a negative model verb. So remember, if you are saying a negative sentence with can't, make emphasis in that word. I can't speak Spanish. I can't speak Spanish. There you have it. Okay, very good, excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, very good. Now, the auxiliary can and can't, that is what we're, that we are studying right now. Can for ability, okay? If you pay attention, the structure is something very easy. The structure of the sentence. Uh, let me see, Jocelyn, are you here? Yeah? Yes, yes, teacher. Can you please help me read this information? Okay, can we use can to talk about abilities? What people can or can't do. Excellent, very good. And what is the affirmative structure? Affirmative structure, subjects plus can plus verb in base forms plus complement. Okay, what about the next one? Yeah, read the examples, please. Okay. Read the examples. Uh -huh. For examples, I can play the guitar. I can cook, cook well. Okay, the next one, the next one. Neg negative structure. Subject plus can't plus verb in base form plus complement. Example, she can't ride a bike. He can't speak Spanish. Okay, what about the question structure and the possible answers? Okay. okay. Question structure. Can plus subjects plus verb in base form plus complement example. Can she ride a bike? Can they swim? Yes, no, yes or no answers. Positive answers, yes I can, yes you can, yes he can, yes she can, yes it can, yes we can, yes they can. Negative answers, no I can't, no you can't, no, he can't. No, she can't. No, it can't. No, we can't. And no, they can't. Okay, very good. Now pay attention to this, okay? So the structures are not difficult. You have them, you have the structures on your platform, okay? 
Uh, now, let's see. We have uh, some exercises that are on the platform. Okay, so pay attention to this, for example. Pay attention to Jer. Do you know this? Do you know this mouse? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. What's what's its name? Jerry. 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 Very good. Now, uh, if you pay attention here, we have some activities. And we have checks and, and X. So uh, I want you to select the correct auxiliary. So Jerry, can't fly or can fly? Can't. 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 can't fly. Okay, very good. All right. Okay. Can't. Okay, what about the next one? Sing well. Can or can't? Can. Can't. 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 All right. What about the next one? Jerry, ride a bike. Can or can't? Can't. 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 Okay. Very good. Can't. What about play the piano? Can. 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 Very good. Excellent. Now let's go to. Uh -huh. Do you remember this guy? Yes. Tom. Tom. <laughs> Okay, so Tom, can fly or can't fly? Can't, can't, fly. can't fly. fly. Can't fly, all right, very good. What about a sing well? Can't. 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 What about ride a bike? Can't. 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 And what about play the piano? Can't. 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 Very Can't. good. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Well, so, uh, I'm gonna... uh, yes. I have a question. Is the different? Uh, uh, how is the pronunciation? Well, how is the difference pronunciation in the can't or can't? Uh, I don't. I told uh, you at the beginning that when it is an, and I don't know if you remember the video that when yeah, you so use my the... signal is 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 bad. Is, is when signal. you are when you are talking about a uh, negative sentences, you say can't. Listen okay. to the pronunciation. Is the T is the T uh -huh. is more. Yeah, you make an emphasis. Uh -huh. And you say okay. can't. Can't. But uh -huh, but when it is affirmative, you only say can. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. Thank you. Yeah, so I, I remember a student told me, teacher, you escucha lo que dicen can't. Ah, pero eso es británico, right? <laughs> yeah. That is British English. Yeah, so you only say can't, and that's it. Okay? All right. Ah, well, eh, I'm going to give you this exercise. Eh, um, and this is like, you have to pay attention, but we're going to change it. We're going to change it. Siempre lo vamos a cambiar a quiz, all right? Okay, so I'm going to send the link, okay? So you can have it. And let's see. All right. So I'm going to send the, 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 the link and you tell me if you can open the link. Can you open? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Well, thanks a lot, guys. And let's go and do it. Después de esto, vamos a tomar la foto. We're going to take the picture, okay? So let's see. Five minutes. Eh, Cada uno del grupo, si los que están participando, traten de leer una oración. Try to read one sentence. Y traten de enfatizar. Si es negative, can't. And if it is affirmative, can. ¿Ok? Ah, Brenda.
Okay, very good, excellent. Did you finish? Yes. Easy or difficult? Easy. 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 Oh my God, you, you are very good. Okay, I'm gonna take the picture, guys, the picture. So please turn your cameras on. 47, all right, 47, class number one. This is class number 14, oh my God, class number 14. Okay, just give me a second. La, 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 la. Okay, copy. Mm. All right, just give me a minute, I'm just like labeling there. Okay, very good. Let's see. Got it? Ready? One, two, and three. Okay, very good. <laughs> my, my, oh yeah. All right, give me a moment. Okay, very good. That, that was very easy, right? Nice, nice. Yeah. Actually, auxiliary can and can't is not difficult. I mean, you have to, you just have to pay attention to that. Well, now listen to what we're going to do. Here, we're going to have a little exercise related to um, abilities animals have. So I want you to pay attention to this exercise. I want you to do this exercise. And after you finish the exercise, I need you to give me other examples with other animals. We're gonna do this one together. All right, very good. So can or can't, everybody? A bird can sing can. or a bird can. 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 Excellent, can sing. All right, what about the next one? A fish. Can, 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 can swim. A snake. Can't. Can, can, can. Uh, can't. Okay. Can't. Excellent. Yep. Emphasize that. Can't. What about the next one? A monkey. Can't. 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 can't, sing. can't Thing. Very good. All right. A parrot can. can. Letter A. Letter A. Very good. Can fly. What about a, 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 a tiger? Can. Can. Can jump or can't? Can. Can't. No, they can. They can jump. Yes, a monkey can climb or can't climb. Can climb. Can. 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 can yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a dog can talk or can't talk. Can. 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 Can't. All right. Yes. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about other animals in singular. An elephant. Can or can't. A tiger can or can't. A cat can or can't. I want you to think about different options. For example, you can say, ah, teacher, a cat can't cook. Okay. And you give me other examples. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, very good. So you are going to type some sentences, all right? Eh, la persona que comparte pues es la que más nos ayuda, es la que más escribe, pero como quiero que los demás practiquen también, pueden escribir la oración. Díganla y le escriben en el chat, ¿ok? Ya, yeah, so you can practice. Practicamos dos cosas. Eh, speaking and, eh, and, and writing, let's say. In this case, it would be like typing. Ok, well, go. I'll give you some minutes. Let's go.
Oh, eh, the dog, no. A dog, a cat, okay? Sí. A uh, butterfly can't work. Can. Excellent. A squirrel can climb trees. Word. Yes. Hello. A rabbit can jump. Jump. A rabbit can jump. Yes. A horse can run. One more? No? Um crow creo que es vaca verdad acá ajá eh, que eat eh, pasto libro creo que es and pasto know. hierba uh -huh. <laughs> Lea, creo don't. que es teacher uh -huh. how do you say pasto Teacher. She's not here. It is a go can't eat um hamburger. Whereas, whereas, <laughs> ¿Cómo? Whereas, I was... Gracias. Okay. Yes, grass. Mm -hmm. uh, the next is in the chat. A lion, a lion, and roar. And a dog. 
and place the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more. A dog can't dry. Do you have one more? A bird can't swim. Can or can? Can't. Okay. A cat can um now we are um meow como se pronuncia and meow <laughs> meow 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 Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you say gusano? Word, 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 W, O, W, O, yes, R, yes. M. Worm. Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay, finish. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, thank you.
Excellent. Very good. Easy or difficult, the sentences? Easy. 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 Okay, very good. Uh, because of the time, because right now it's 5.30, eh, we are not going to read the sentences, pero los que escribieron las oraciones, guárdenlas, porque vamos a seguir el Monday, ¿ok? We're going to continue Monday. So, los que quieran adelantarse a hacer el examen unidad 3 y 4, lo pueden hacer, tienen luz verde, ¿ok? Ok. Yes. Ok, teacher. All right. See you tomorrow. See you Monday. All right. Bye bye. 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 Bye.